Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and it is the time of year where I don the gayest shirt that I own because it is of course Pride Month. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm a lesbian if you didn't know. Yes, I reference it a lot. Yes, I'm proud of it. And so for the month of June, I basically upload a video every Sunday that is Pride Rainbow-esque themed usually to do with The Sims or to do with myself if I'm doing a cheeky little Q&A. However, we almost always kick it off with a pride shell challenge. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be talking you through the rules of this pride shell challenge, when you need to upload them by. Hopefully if The Sims 4 gallery is working by that point, which we can pray for. Airy season might bring on the birthday chaos, but pride season is where I feel like we can thrive as a community. Turn the freaking frogs gay! Yeah, we're doing the frog shell challenge. I mean, does it look like a frog? Does it look like a BBL? Who knows? That's up for you to decide. There is also a little surprise though, because if you go up, we have the demon frog. <laughs> I didn't want to make it too easy for you lot, so I added in its little like googly eyes on the second floor and then also a little smile. So this is what you got to work with on the second floor. And yes, you do have to work with them because my number one rule that I have is do not touch my walls, do not change them, do not add on to them, don't even think about demolishing these walls, changing the height of these walls, just don't touch them, just don't do it. The only exception to that rule is the fact that, for example, if you wanted to like add a balcony on and you say wanted to do a half wall, you could grab a little half wall and then go to this tool and then you could like add a little half wall section onto here. That's the only thing that I will allow you to do is add either fences or half walls onto my pre-existing walls. But please do not change these walls to be a half wall. Like they have to stay at the wall height they are at. I also don't want you being like, oh, well this doesn't really make sense. So let me add more full walls onto here and then demolish that. Please do not add any additional walls. You can, however, add additional additional buildings if you want to. Like say if you're building on a bigger lot, you can place this on any lot so it's completely up to you. And then you're like, I want to add an extra building here. That is absolutely fine. As long as it's not touching my initial build, that is all good with me. I will also allow you because I'm just a nice person and apparently the good weather makes me feel as if I want to give back to you lot. You can add pools onto the side, like pools can be touching. So if you want to put a moat around things, if you want to make it for the medieval gaze, if you were inspired by the poll vote for the kits, feel free. All I want you to do is turn this into a pride themed LGBTQIA plus safe space, whatever you fancy. This is just a time for you lot to have fun and enjoy building within the game. You can obviously add walls inside, so if you want to split this up into rooms, feel free. If you want to add half walls in here, if you want to add fences, decorate it to the best of your abilities. You can do whatever you want on the inside. Feel free to add whatever roofing you want. Say if you want to like add roofing onto here, that is absolutely a-okay. Feel free to do that. That is all good as long as, again, it doesn't demolish my pre-existing walls. This might be confusing because I've been like, don't touch my walls, but I feel like if you want to change just the smile bit into a half wall, you can. I will allow that. If you want to turn this into like a little like rooftop garden space, feel free. Sorry for throwing that random change of rules in there, but that's the only exception I will make in the wise words of Hayley Williams. Also, please do do not use any custom content. I know it's a big bummer, but I don't have a lot of build mode CC in my game. I don't want to have to be like tracking down custom content or anything like that. You can use any packs available. You can also make this lot type any lot type. I have all of the packs. So if you want to make it a community space from Eco Lifestyle, you can. If you want to make it a uh, commons for university, feel free. Karaoke bar, any of these, a haunted house maybe? Now that 
I could get behind. All the gay ghosts of The Sims 4, I reckon there's a fair few of them. I'd like to party with the gay ghosts. But that is pretty much it. I think that's all the rules necessary. If you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to let me know down in the comments. Like I said, you may have to build this shell yourself because the gallery isn't working right now. Hopefully the gallery is working before the end date, which is actually currently the 28th of June, 2023. On Wednesday, the 28th, I'm going to be going live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash English Summer, where I'm going to be touring a bunch of these shells. I'm also hoping to make a video on it sometime throughout July, where I go through some of your other builds that I didn't get to see over on my stream because usually I focus on the people who are actually watching. So if you want me to see it, if you want me to tour it, if you want me to see all of your hard work, your blood, sweat and tears, I will say I feel like I have been nicer this year than I have in past years. Last year's was an absolute hellscape. So I feel like this cute little critter is gonna definitely be easier. Upload it on the gallery by the 28th of June using the hashtag ES Pride 23. So capital E, capital S, capital P 23. So absolutely have at it. Turn all those freaking frogs gay. I absolutely love the fact that I've chosen to do a frog this year. Thank you to Coop's suggestion over on Twitch the other day. I super duper appreciate you. I was going to do a unicorn. So you should all be thanking Coop because I feel like he absolutely saved you. And of course, I will be uploading Pride theme videos for the rest of June every Sunday. If there are any that you would like to request, definitely let me know. I want this to be a joint effort. I want this to be a community thing. I want to make the videos that you lot want to see. So I have a post up on my community page asking what you lot would like me to create over these next few weeks. And you can also feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments down below. I hope you have a very safe, I hope you have a very happy, I hope you have a very prideful Pride Month ahead of you. Please be wary. Please absolutely take care of yourselves first and foremost. I love you all so, so much. And honestly, it just makes me happy every single time I sit down to record one of these videos. Good luck with your entries. I know you lot are absolutely going to smash it. I don't need to tell you good luck. You've been doing this year in, year out, and you always absolutely blow me away. So I'm very, very excited to see what you are all going to build. I think it's just really really nice each year just to kind of flood the gallery with like gay builds and safe spaces. I know I've gone back and downloaded a bunch of these in past years so hopefully we can get that same energy again this year. I appreciate you all so so much and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye!